Today on Face the Nation, the NAFTA debate. The vice president calls it the great fork in the road for America. What is the story? Is NAFTA good for you or bad? Is it a job maker or a job breaker? When Barack Obama pushed Democrats to pass his trade deal, they stiffed him, including Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi. It seemed unprecedented. But in 1993, President Clinton was also being stiffed by his party and the Democratic leader in the House, Richard Gephardt. Isn't it unprecedented, though, for a person in a high leadership post such as you hold in the House of Representatives to take such a high profile opposition to the president? Well, Bob, you know, this is an issue that I started on uh, three years ago, really before Bill Clinton ever decided to run for president. Secondly, this is not a party line vote. There are Democrats and Republicans on both sides of the issue. So it's not your normal party line kind of issue. And finally, I just think this is a very important issue for our country. It's an issue that has immense economic consequences for us and for Mexico and Canada. It's something that I feel deeply we've got to get right, and I don't think this NAFTA is the right NAFTA. What members are saying is that this has got to be a good deal for the American people. The American people have tuned into this debate like no debate I've ever seen. The issue is, is NAFTA a sufficient force for progress? And I just don't think it is. Vice President Al Gore came on the broadcast to make the case for the administration. He argued not so much about jobs, but the Democrats shouldn't embarrass their president. How many votes do you have, Mr. Vice President? Well, the undecided uh, members of Congress still hold the balance. This is a very close vote. Uh, and it is a fork in the road. You mentioned that phrase at the beginning of your show. This says a lot about who we are as a nation. It's a foreign policy issue as well as an economic issue. It's good for us economically, but the consequences of a defeat for NAFTA uh, in the foreign policy arena would be really catastrophic. The president goes out to the APEC conference the day after uh, the NAFTA vote. Uh, that would be a terrible thing uh, to do to the president and to do to the country. The other countries around the world that are uh, looking at this GATT negotiation are just waiting to see whether or not we have the courage of our convictions, whether we're willing to walk the walk or just talk the talk. If we pass NAFTA, we will have the leverage we need to start getting growth in the world economy and to remove the barriers to U.S. products in other countries. In the end, NAFTA passed, but the debate continued. When Democrats bucked President Obama, it was the unfulfilled promises of NAFTA that they cited for why they were opposing the president of their party. For Face the Nation, I'm John Dickerson.